And more than 25 legislators have signed their names to a piece of legislation aimed at strengthening free speech on college campuses and protecting students from harassment. ABC4's education correspondent Sarah Martin joins us in studio to explain, Sarah. This started with a lawsuit down at Dixie State University after the school denied approval for some political posters on campus. The students won that lawsuit. Now legislators are trying to make sure other universities don't make the same mistake. Representative Kim Coleman is the woman behind House Bill 158. She explained that the bill aims to inform universities, but also to protect students. They want to recognize when some students um, feel offended, but also honoring the free speech. And, and sometimes that's a hard line, but the Supreme Court set that line for us. That line is speech that causes harm. We want to make sure students are protected against harassment and threats and intimidation. Under this bill, universities can be held legally responsible for failing to act on harassment occurring between students and on campus. People shouldn't be harassed, but at the same time, we don't want people saying, well, this person holds a view that's different than mine, so I feel harassed because they're expressing their views that I don't like. We want to encounter speech that is offensive with more speech. Let's have robust exchange of ideas. In the case of Dixie State University, libertarian posters were denied that made satirical comments about former President Obama. The students were able to sue the school. This law would make that process a lot easier. Currently, they can go to federal court, but for most students, that's a very high bar and it's not very accessible. So we do create a way for students to find remedy in our local state courts. The bill is waiting to be assigned to a Senate committee. We've got two weeks left and it might take the whole two weeks to get this bill done. You can find the full text of this bill on our website, abc4.com. Back to you.